Welcome to the Mac user group channel. Today I'm going to show you how to send iMessage from the command line using a homebrew package called iMessage-Ruby. I'm running Big Star 11.1. First you have to install the iMessage-Ruby package from the command line using brew. Run brew install iMessage-Ruby to install the package. It takes a minute or so. Once installed you can send an iMessage from the command line using iMessage dash dash text with the double quote the, your message in the double quote and dash dash contacts and email address of the iMessage uh, recipient which is their iCloud um, email address or the phone number. So here's an example of sending a hello world message to someone at me.com and if you want to use the phone number just replace the the email address with the phone number of the iPhone iPhone user, iPhone iPad user. If you want to send a picture, a file to this contact via command line using iMessage, just add the dash dash attachment and path to the image or PDF file, whatever you want to send. That's how you would send a file to the end user, the recipient. I'm going to show you how all this in real world example. Now, I've already installed iMessage Ruby, so to test send a message, I'll type iMessage dash dash text, hello world, and dash dash contacts, mjkabir at me.com, that's my iCloud address, and I can see on my app right there, iMessage app, that I've sent a hello world, and I can also see on the phone, I should receive a hello world message right there. So now I'm going to send myself a image. So dash dash attachment path to my image, a simple image. And I just did. And let me take a look. Here's the message. So I should have received that on my phone as well. I see it right there. So that's that's the way to send an image. Now if I want to send a send the same thing to a phone number, I would just replace the email address with a phone number. Same thing happens. Again, message comes. So that's about it. It's very easy to send a iMessage from a command line using this. So one of the cases where I like to use this is when I'm processing a video file and it's taking a long time, less than 10 minutes. So I just would run a script call, you know, that just checks if the file is created with a size more greater than zero and then send me a message so I can come back upstairs and and work on the computer because I don't want to, I usually don't like to work on the computer when the video processing is uh, being done. So hopefully you'll find many use for this and I'll sh in the future I'll show many use for these kind of tools in scripts and other things that we'll be showing in this channel. If you find this channel useful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.